Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust the balance of the gauge. Um, this is very critical in maintaining accurate, repeatable measurements, especially when we're gonna adapt a larger probe. Um, we do have the capabilities of adapting a 12 inch probe extension, which we can then put our measuring probe into. Um, as you can imagine, with a larger extension becomes more weight, and we have to be able to account for that weight, especially given the, given the fact that we have a floating carriage. With our floating carriage, added weight is gonna weigh heavily onto our carriage. That's why we're gonna have to account for the balance and we're gonna adjust the balance. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Currently, we have our standard probe in our standard position. And as you can see, if I pull the carriage down and let it rise up automatically, it returns to that home position. And again, if I pull it up and let it drop back down, it returns to that home position. That's a good quick check to figure out if your balance is well. Um, if you pull it down and up, and in both cases, it returns to that home position, that's probably your first initial check to make sure your balance is well. And that checked out. If I open up my menu by holding down my blue button here until I see the force, if I then hit it a second time, that's gonna bring me into a menu that is assigned probe. This is our probe balance. This is basically a number scale of positive and negative numbers. And in the center, it'll literally say, okay. So if I pull my probe down and release it, you'll see the numbers dance and it settles in at okay. And again, pull it up and let it settle in. Settling in at okay means that our balance is okay. It's right where we want it to be. Now let's change it and let's put on, say, our larger extension. We have this 12 inch ceramic extension, which gives us a much greater reach than we are able to capture with our standard probe. So if I take my probe holder off, release my probe, apply my probe to my extension, lock it in, Initially, you'll notice as we took out our standard probe holder, the weight being released from this holder had our carriage rise up a little bit. That's why we're seeing a negative number. If I then add my larger probe extension, this is adjustable at whichever depth you may like. We'll set it slightly back. We don't need the full extension lock that into place. Now you can see I have positive numbers on my display. That means it's sitting a little bit heavy. Here we're going to go ahead and adjust our balance so we can compensate for that weight. Behind our hand wheel we have this quick travel handle is a knob. This black knob is our counterbalance adjustment. When you do adjust the balance it is pretty critical adjust it very slowly, one click at a time. Um, it doesn't take too much to compensate for the balance. So we'll come in here and we'll rotate to the left when we're trying to remove a heavy weight. So a couple clicks and it says okay, but I just want to verify by going down, letting it return back to okay, pulling up, and letting it return back to okay. So simply by making a couple clicks of my knob to the left, I've now adjusted my balance to make an accurate measurement out at, say, 10 inches of an extension. Um, that's how you're going to compensate for the balance of your different probe setups on the height gauge. So after we've checked our balance in just a floating position, making sure it's returned to that home position, We've then checked our balance in our menu with a number scale and it says OK. To verify that balance, we can come back to our main display and off of any land, I'll just use my master block because it's handy, I will engage the probe in the downward direction and once I start to do that, you'll see a series of bars appear and it's triggering a reading on the fourth bar. If I then drive it up, it's triggered a reading on the fourth bar in the opposite direction. That's telling you that the probe is effectively balanced. And um, if you ever see any 
difference in the number of bars that it's being hit, that it's triggering the reading at. Say it's reading at two bars in the downward direction and four or six bars in the upward direction. There's definitely a balance issue. Um, so that's when you would refer back to that inner menu, adjust your balance accordingly, and then you can verify here by checking we're triggering the reading at the same number of bars. Thank you.